One of them is going to be exposed to high levels, and the whole reason that we've covered them in tin foil is because the environment of this classroom is filled with that. Right, so we had to try to isolate the plants inside of there and not let the Wi-Fi get in there. I don't really know if it'll affect anything because, like, I grow plants in my, like, I have Wi-Fi in my house and I grow plants all the time and they grow fine. It's gonna die. You think so? Yeah. It blew my mind that the Wi-Fi off, like, the plants are growing. Yeah. But Wi-Fi on, the plants are growing. So I think that when the Wi-Fi's on, it's affecting the world, like, affecting the whole entire world. What are people's arguments against our results going to be? The Wi-Fi on might have dried out all of the water from the seedlings. The heat will evaporate the water that's in the plant. The FCC doesn't say anywhere that Wi-Fi and radiation is harmful to people. I think that we have to explore those different variables to make this experiment as sound as we can. What's the first thing that you're going to do? You get, you get your cell phone in your hands, you just watch that video. What are you going to Google? Does Wi-Fi kill plants or other living things? First thing I would look up is what, what else can it hurt? What, what? Our brain, Does our wifi arms, wifi our legs. Hurt? Does Wi-Fi hurt our body physically and mentally? Could it affect your sperm count and decrease uh, population? What? Given the fact that you have been part of this research, looking over all of these studies, do you have Wi-Fi in your house? No, I've, I've been in the technology industry all my life and I've never had Wi-Fi. Because? Well, I just didn't feel it was right. I didn't feel it was safe. And my wife has been very actually forceful about not having that. Now you can run a, a longer wire, it's a bit annoying. Signaling produce heat. Have any countries or cities like banned Wi-Fi? 